Hi guys and girls. Right, so this video I'll be going to show you the main screen of PUBG. Um, currently this is on a Samsung S9 device. Uh, <clears throat> now, what else can I tell you? This is the newest update. Um, there will be a new update and that's 8.0 whatever it is. Um, but this is the newest update in the UK. Main screen. Uh, so I basically just want to show you, um, just say for people that are just starting the game, what the whole main screen is basically all about. So you've got your start button up there, the start button, basically is to start the game. So click on there, this shows you all the game modes. So you've got a classic mode, you've got the classic mode and the arcade mode. So we're going to be talking about classic mode oh god I've got, to, I've got to delete all these friends they're just so annoying stop popping up do one right so game mode classic mode you got Ergonamal and Miramar and soon it's going to be Shanhok a new map coming up so then there'll be three maps I mean I only started playing this game literally like a couple of months ago um, when it was just Ergonamal then they added Miramar which is that one. Uh, then there'll be a new one called Sanok Map. Which that, that one looks really good. Um, I can't wait for that one. So on this one, you've got TPP, which is third person perspective. So you can choose between first person or third person. Sorry, I meant third person perspective and first person. So the third person perspective is seeing the person while playing the game and the first person perspective is basically you're just seeing yourself as if you're holding a gun so <clears throat> explore both modes um, personally I prefer the preferred person just I can see the man I can see where he's hiding or if I'm behind something I know I'm definitely behind it where someone can't shoot at me as in where you're in first person mode, you can be beyond a tree, but you could tiny be peeking out so someone could shoot you. So I always think the third person is the best mode, but probably not many people agree, especially Xbox players or whatever. But I've never really play, played on Xbox, PlayStation. I've only ever played it on a mobile. So, <clears throat> modes. You've got, I've told you about the maps on the mode. So teams, obviously you can choose single mode, squad mode, sorry, duo mode or squad mode. So the buttons are there. Also in this part of the game, room. There's chat rooms there, or you can create a chat room. Also, you've got a training ground. So that's the button. For the training I won't press that because it will go into training mode so this is a um, first person perspective same same things so up here are the servers <clears throat> there's five servers you've got North America you've got Europe you've got Asia you've got South America sorry South America and you've got KRJP. I ain't even got a clue what that means. Anyway, <clears throat> that's just a surfer probably miles away. Anyway, I played on that surf once and I did win the chicken dinner the first time. So that's probably a good practice one. Obviously, there can't be many players playing that. So if you want some chicken dinners, play on this one. I always play Europe. At the end of the day, I'm in Europe. So I play that one and the game start quicker. Obviously, these are saying like the game start in, you know, one minute twenty two. You know, at the end of the day, this, yeah, I suppose from waiting in the lobby, minute, when you're in the game, better than the Xbox. Sometimes you're on an Xbox, if you're playing this game, um, and you probably wait in ten minutes just before you even start playing it. So, anyway, that's that part of the um, interface. On PUBG, so this part is friends. 
friend requests, people that are requesting to be a friend. Uh, on the right hand side you've got recent teams, so like recent teams I've played with. The Synergy, this is quite a good one. It's like people that you always play with. Um, and it does help when you're in squad mode because you've got a synergy together and you, your health stays for longer and stuff like that. Uh, then you've got an add friend button. So the add friend button, to be fair, I've never actually used this part of the game. Uh, yeah. I think this is like add... F oh man, what is going on here, eh? What is going on? Right. So you've got to add friends here. I think these are basically like this part of the interface is like the people that you've just played. I'm not too sure, but you know, who cares about that bit? Uh, invites here. If you add friends, so I click it again, invite. So say say on here, what how many friends? Uh, let's say six friends online. 145 offline so the six friends that are online they're all in matches and all the other friends are probably asleep because it is nearly one o'clock uk time in the morning so you've got recent and that shows you the people that recently play you've played crew i'll create a clue crew but i haven't got no clue uh, <laughs> clue crew uh clans so this shows you all the players and that's basically when you join a clan so this bit shows you uh, things like in game and you can dance and talk to people i mean i haven't spent no money on the game i've got everything with not spending a penny so i haven't got all the um, all these parts yet i think there's five left to go but yeah, not in love. They're all good, but they're not going to help you win chicken dinners. To be fair, uh, this part here, world topics. So here you've got world chat topics, blah de blah. On the left hand side, this part's a good one. Just say if there's you and a mate playing, you want to recruit someone, you can. Just send team recruitment, and they'll all, and someone will join. Who's probably half decent as well. Um, this part here is friends. So it's, if you want to chat to your friends, this is the part where you can chat. So you can send a message. So say if I want to talk to him, click on him. Obviously, click enter message, and then send. Easy. You can you can send them other stuff as well. This part of the um, interface, plan, motto, I have not got a clue what that bit is. I do not know, plan, motto, blah, blah, blah. And, well, that must be to send a message to your, the clan, your clan team. Sim up, I just don't, I don't bother doing. Someone might, someone might wanna do. So a little start on the bottom part, season. Season, so season three. Basically, if you reach tight, uh, diamond tier, you'll get them sort of goggles, reach platinum tier. You get a, a case. That's in squad, duo and solo. And then it's got uh, first person. So that's that part. <coughs> clan. I joined a clan. Basically, you can collect rewards. <coughs> so you get clan points. And not only that, you get BP. So, the BP is good. You can buy the free crates with it once you've got enough <coughs> enough of the BP. Uh, so you can get um, you know clothes, uh, collect rewards. What's this saying? Clan activity one twenty, clan points fifty. So that's all gone to the clan. So on this uh, clan interface part, you've got a lobby information here. Uh, weekly activity it shows w what weekly activity the uh, clan members are really the people in this clan they're on like level 40 47 38 55 
yeah, I think like 55 guys probably on the highest level. But to be fair, I don't think levels matter on this game because I've got, what am I on? Level 53? I'm not an amazing player. I'm not saying I am. I'm half decent, you know. I'm not, I'm not shit, but... Um, it just depends. It depends on the game, what happens. But don't get me wrong, I can be lethal on the game. So, anyway, shop. So, you've always got a clan shop. So I've got 1,310 clan coins or whatever they are. So I was saving it up to buy this one. Hold on, what is it? This one here, webbed threat. We have a web that catches all the enemies unawares. I think that's basically just a top. So I'm not far from getting that. Uh, and then you you can get Justice Aviator Frame, Glory, Iron Blood Aviator Frame. And that's through the clan. Just playing matches and just logging in every day and collect the rewards and you unlock this. It's not much special though, to be fair, is it? But that top looks all right. So I'm just playing it for the top. And probably won't bother logging in again. Uh, anyway, you got crew. Crew's a good one. Uh, you can create a crew. A crew. So, just say you've got some friends or you know local mates, and you uh, want to pair up. You can just invite them. Have a little crew. Cool, cool yourselves. I don't know the dirty dogs. Dirty dog one, dirty dog two, dirty dog three, and dirty dog four. So, boom. Um, uh, this basically shows you all the guns. It's quite a good one if you don't know nothing about guns. And to be fair, I don't know that much. It just basically shows you what gun does what. So you've got like AKM, power, recoil, range, firing speed, capacity. You've got the M416, <coughs> which basically is on par with the um, AKM. I don't see much difference in them, to be fair. You've got the SCAR. And you've got all the other guns, you know what I mean? You've got the DP, you've got the shotguns. And this is quite good, especially if you don't know the game. You want to go on this page because you'll see what all the cars, sorry, what all the guns do. Especially these snipers. You've got like Car 98, which is probably the worst sniper. You've got M24, AWM, which is, in my opinion, a beast of a gun hits all of that headshot they are gone <coughs> whatever they're wearing do you know what I mean I could be wearing a teddy bear face with a oh god man my throat sauce my throat is a uh, proper killer now they could be wearing like a teddy bear face man with helmet on and it still blow his face off win 94 not not a bad gun that to be fair it's, especially if it's Gets some rotten face from close range. Uh, you got guns, blah de blah de blah. Lots of guns. Look at that beast. M two four nine. That fills with bullets. Hundred rounds. That is a beast of a gun. I tell you, especially if you, especially if it's like if you're on your own and you've got that, and you can see a group like, you know. A, a fair few people all close you just take them all out but hard to control so and you can put all the sights on it as well which didn't even know that six times scope with that on could just blast in everybody up <coughs> it take down the cars quick doesn't it so that's all one infantry <coughs> so on this one this shows you um, basically all the clothes so these lock all the clothes that I've got so far in the game. Um, you know what I mean? And you can change them. Hats. Sunglasses. Masks. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, but to be fair, clothes are clothes, aren't they? Who cares? <laughs> Um, I did the Mission Impossible clothes. Uh, what's, what is it? I think I'm sure I've got the top somewhere. 
if I can show you, let's see, Mission Impossible Close, <laughs> oh dear, don't know, but, oh yeah, I like wearing all black, uh, what, what I got for the end of the season, season two, was that costume, three, so, that's, that's basically what I wear now, yeah, all black, I just think the black colours are just, they don't stand out as much, if you're wearing bright, bright colours, you know, like this, like orange trousers and like a blue top. I was wearing these at, <laughs> like that and they stand out and you get shot a lot more than you do with wearing like, you know, darker colours or it depends what map, map you're on. You know, mirror mask, good if you're wearing like green and stuff like that, but not green, sorry, beige. So, like Miramar, Miramar, I mean, I used to wear like things, I'd wear like stuff like that, just because it blends in, blends in with, you know, the sand, and things like, um, in Ergon I mean, you've got green, don't you, so like green coat, in the bushes, and just say, like that, especially in the grass, you're not seeing as much, or perhaps like something like that. The mirror, mirror is a good thing, it just depends. I mean, if you <coughs> if you wear these sort of clothes in mirror, mirror and you're in the grass, you've got green trousers, you've got a greeny sort of top, you're not likely less to be seen. But you know what I mean, if you've got clothes like that. When you're in the grass, someone's blatantly going to see you, and you're just going to get took out. So, you know, that's a good thing in this game, I think. But I don't know, perhaps later on in the game, the clothes get better, like, you know, uh, blend in with like, the actual game itself, so, so people can't see you, or it'd just be better to be invisible, you know. Anyway, this one rankings, it says where you rank. I mean, I ain't played that much. I mean, I'm ranked top eleven percent, so don't know if I don't know if that's great or what. So shows you here. Uh, new season says so survival ranking. I think what most kills I've had is twelve at the minute. Uh, that's in squad and kills hundred and twenty five survival. I've had five wins. To be fair, I've only played about. 20 games on this one so 20 games 5 wins in squad mode which is not too bad uh, I mean there's loads of lot of players on here look squad mode conquer already duo ace you know there's some badass players on here but you know there is a lot of hackers on it on this game as well so watch out for that watch out for the hackers I mean yesterday I was playing a game I was in the house, I got three people left. I was just playing a single mode. I got shot through a wall. It's like dead. There's no way they could have even shot through the I'd, it come through the wall. I'd, you know what I mean? One shot as well. One shot through a wall, I was dead. So watch out for the little hacking sods region. This shows you basically if you're a really good player, shows you um you can pick your region. And it will show you who's the best in the country or a country. Uh, this part here has messages. Um, yeah, that is just messages. Uh, here is BP. You can send friends, friends BP, and they can send you one, and then gift it them back. So like that, and it also. It also increases, what's it, synergy or something like that. So that's something that you got to do to uh, move up the levels. So make sure you do that and make sure you have some friends because if you ain't got no friends, you ain't going to move up the levels. Gift centre, you can give, give people stuff. You know, what am I going to give them? I don't actually buy nothing on the game and I don't see why I'd need to. In the day, I'll get all clothes for doing the levels for free. So... And obviously that's the settings button, 
which um, on the first video that I did, I uh, showed you, you know, in regards to the settings, you know, just the shit settings I use. You know, you don't have to um, use them settings, but it just that video basically just shows you the settings and um, how they use, and probably just what to change before you start the game. This right button's a good one. Report. If someone's really annoying you, report them. Just, or if you see a hacker, rep report them a tutorial. That's a good one to start the game. It shows you how to play the game. It shows you what buttons do what on that. And that's it. Ah, so you've got social media part there. This one here is daily events. So, say if you, um, I don't know, blow someone with two grenades, you get a box. Uh, outfit box or something like that. So, that's loads on here. Collect 200 BP. Logging for seven days. Collect an awesome award. Logging three days. You know, logging five days. Uh, this one appears like a new, newish one. Uh, probably, I think it only came out last season. Or last update. Or season two. Can't remember. Or just something like that. Basically, this one. This one's basically where PUBG are trying to make you buy and uh, upgrade a pass. Basically, just so you get better stuff. But obviously, you're buying it to get the better stuff. I don't bother. Um, I just do, you know, collect 10. And your, your RP basically goes up. Royal pass goes up. So you get better rewards. So the more RP you get, the more the rewards go up. So look on this pit that I can have to shush shush when I get to 10 RP. At the minute on 5. So, I mean, the rewards on here aren't that great, to be fair. You get coupons. You, you get coupons for crates, but you need 10. But you can get them. So, in, a, in, in uh, the three crates that use the BP, you always get, so get these coupons, which then you can have a crate for nothing. You know, the gold crate, which is a decent crate, which has decent clothes and outfits in it, and uh, you can get all that free. So I just don't see the need in to spend money and you know things like this. Uh, who cares what colour the plane is? You know what I mean? <coughs> I, people spend money, you know, on this game, buying um, <coughs> the colours of the plane. Who cares? We only see it for like about ten seconds and jump out of it. I mean, people are mad. It's just like. Why? Uh, yeah, so that's that part of it. You've got missions up there. <coughs> it shows you basically <coughs> finishing any top three once in any mode. You get 30 RP, so that means your RP goes up, so then you can collect rewards. So redeem. <coughs> this is just rule pass. Or once you've hit rank 100. Uh, so I wouldn't know, because... But these are like the things you can get. Billionaire, my frog pan is made of gold. You get skins for the guns. I don't know what what is that? That looks like a nice chest, doesn't it? So you've got a nice little chest there, but that could have all sorts in. Yeah. <clears throat> so done RP. Here's the shop. That's the shop. I don't use it. The only thing I, I come in the shop for is a crate. So, if I've got cash, which I have, which is the soldier's crate. So, I've got cash, 8670, or 8670. So, I can open one of them. Yeah? So, boom. Look, I've got a white top. So, go back. Inventory. White top. I've already got it. So, I can dismantle it. So, when you dismantle your clothes, because you've already got one, you press OK, and it gives you basically fragments. So it's going to be six fragments there. So close that one, and to use these fragments, or see how many fragments you got, you click on Shop, and then go to Others. Oh no, is it Others? Sorry, it's Limited Time. You go on to Limited Time, and then at the bottom on the left here, it says Redeem. So you click Redeem, and basically, these fragments are what you collect after all the used... Oh, God, what's going on there? These fragments are basically all the redemptions of 
items of clothing that you've received in crate. So I've received, you know, probably hundreds of the same clothes and then you dismantle them and you get fragments, which is at the top there on the right hand corner and it says 523. So currently I own quite a lot of these, like most of them. Um, I mean, I've got 523 fragments, so I could probably buy, you know, that, them trousers, 350. Um, or I could buy a skimpy little top. Or I could buy that top. Now, the rest of them I've got, so I'll probably save up, actually. I've got 523. Ain't far to go. I'll probably buy that. That little coat. Or, nah. I mean, who wants a gold shotgun? <laughs> Who cares? But I do like the shotguns. Sometimes when I'm in a game, I'll keep a shotgun. Just so when I knock someone out, I can just then get the shotgun off and finish him off quick. Like, boom. He's gone. You know, blood splatters everywhere. And it just makes you feel good using it. <laughs> also makes you feel good when you're using shotgun. And you get someone straight in the face when you're in a house. Yeah. Lo love it. So... That's my username, the Dark Hunter. Uh, and pretty much, that is about it. Apart from this part. So the top there, this shows you where you are in the game. To be fair, my levels aren't that good at, at the minute. Um, especially in quad squad mode. Because I was ranked quite higher, but I had some annoying person trying to grenade me in a game. Uh, and then he, he, for some reason, I was in a car and he started shooting at the uh, tyres and popped them. Anyway, he got back in his car, so I started firing him, at, firing at him, uh, blew him up, and then afterwards got a message from PUBG, blah blah blah, your ranks been decreased and all this crap. And I was just like, fuck's sake, man! This guy's like been trying to grenade me all game, pops my tyres on my car when I was about, and he was like supposed to be a teammate. In the end, like, I just took him out anyway, and it felt good, you know, him trying to drive off in his car, shooting him, boom, see you later, mate. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, you've got here aviator frames, so <clears throat> as you go up in levels, or, or it, sorry, these are basically in rank, you get uh, frames, uh, avatars, and then you've got appearance which can change your appearance currently i'm a woman so uh statistics blah 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 i mean squad uh squad mode played 44 won five top 10 34 killed 125 not that great but i mean a lot of them games i've i've um i'm really played or just you know just dust about I don't really play for ranking. I play for fun. But if I was playing for ranking, I'd probably done a lot better than that. Career rankings. I mean, that's that's them. It's just basically this basically just shows you past games and uh, what rank, yeah, uh, what place you got, and it shows you how many kills you got. Uh, there's nothing spectacular on there, to be fair. Uh, player card. This player card basically just put information of like kind of what player you are. You know, gunslinger. Uh, uh, you can put tags in and stuff like that. Achievements. These are achievements I've had so far. This, uh, this just these are quite good. These achievements. These haven't been in the game a huge huge amount of time. I don't think they are. But these are good things to go do. Get these achievements. You know, you can get all free clothes and stuff from the shop. That's basically what the whole game's about. <clears throat> Shooting people and uh, loading yourself with a nice water over clothes. So that's the whole interface of the game. I don't know if I missed anything, but to be fair, I think this video's gone way long enough. It's late at night now. It's like five past one in the morning. UK time. I'm knackered. I've got a sore throat. Uh, hope you like the video, guys. Um, anyway, if there's anything else you need to know about this game, let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Right, take care, guys. Take care, care girls. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.